um, my voice is in many videos. No, well, like three already. I just feel Flush. like if I, if it's somebody new, I ask. Understandable. Um, what is that shit? Is that a battleship? No. Uh, yeah, there are some battleships. Oh, in our game? Oh, we yeah, got a little tan. We have, we have, we have oh, we have yeah, we have PK. Okay, okay, it's a six-seven game. Okay. Paris. I am so power. fucked. Um, uh, yeah. no, it should be fine. You're we, about we as just, fine as the rest of us. Yeah, do, just do, do, send do, out a float plane do, and, do, 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 uh, do, do, do. yeah. yeah I we now have the capacity to, you probably want to take, like, we have a PT boat, so you want to probably take A. This is probably the most pointless smoke screen ever, because everyone's just going to sail straight through it. It's, uh... I'm going to see if I can meme and gear off with AG spam. You may want to turn, and so we have a bit of a wall as we go I in. I am pointing works. towards A and trying to cover that way. Not a bad idea. Um, but the smoke ran out. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to get a recharge, so... <laughs> yeah, but it'll recharge by the time I get there. Fair, yeah. Because I'm a third of the way through it now. One nice thing about that is... Well, actually, I guess this may be more about the Ikoma because I did get hit still, is that Ikoma's hitbox is tall. Uh... That's a good thing in this case, because that means that people aim for the not very critical parts of the mast. Mm -hmm. Fuck's sake. Yeah, because well, the way the one five inch mount is gone. Oh good. I mean my my experience of US cruisers is target to the right, all the five inch guns on the left die. Uh, I mean, I've definitely experienced being able to control which modules die. Um it's been something very much within my control. But oh, I have yeah, I can fire. Exact opposite with Northampton. Northampton's been very good to me. Yes, what a, I'm what like a lovely ship. I have made several people rage quit. Using oh yeah, this. like it meets it meets starter or near starter destroyers. Like Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. so I lit oh, a on toasty. fire. Yes. Yeah, like um, I had a match a few days ago where there where I just like cross maps my dudes. From spawn to spawn, and it was like, "Hey, you rage quit." Yeah, sorry. It'll absolutely and be a guarantee. Now, like, um, I'm currently chat bans. <laughs> right. Uh, don't, don't ask why. Um, the reason is Belgian people. Well, understandable. Well, plane broke. Um. Oh, you still got the cap. That's still. Yeah. Thank you. I took a flak burst overhead as I tried to take off. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll be a little aggressive on that. Well, see, the U.S. Uh, crews are looking uh, straight there. Yeah, there's the German dudes, like, Ooh. there, somewhere. I'm uh, focusing on the ones that are getting closest to Cap, but whatever you have a line of sight uh, on, by all means. There's a Vondertan or a Kaiser going towards A as well. Right. We're, I don't know if we specifically can contest A anymore. We got it. And that made sure that we didn't lose too many tickets because they got somebody at B. And our PT boat's dragging their feet for some reason. Oh wait, no, it's just an AI, that's well, why. Well, most of our team is at Charlie. But they're not even pushing to Charlie. No, they're pushing to B. I don't get it. People are stupid. Hey, evil teams. I am on fire. Water is wet. <laughs> this is why I refuse to play this game without other people to bitch at. Understandable. The pair points. I'm on fire and I do not have FPE. I just Fun. lit another. I just lit another man on fire. USHE that, that is okay. You think if the Vonda uh, behind you shoots over your head, it'll help blow the fire out? Okay. They added. They added wind mechanics, or they visual visualizations to wind mechanics. It doesn't so, seem to do anything. I'm in about a bit of a pickle here. Uh, yeah, no, not really. I mean, that's. I'm pretty sure that's its own animation. Hmm. You are providing. Adorable add-on armor for a spay. <laughs> We're not even in the line of fire for any enemies right now, so it's very useful. Yeah. Also, how, f how flimsy is this thing? Cleveland? Uh, it's alright. I mean, it's a light cruiser, so you have to take that as you will. It's not going to be very. It's not going to feel very durable against a six-seven. Um, it would be better if Cleveland had the same STS hull that it should have, seeing as the Brooklyns have STS That would hulls. probably just encourage the... It would make it worse against battleships, but better against later ships. It basically, it would reinforce its role even harder. 
Mm. Um, because you'll just be more likely to fuse M AP ammo. Alternatively, uh, it would be better if Gaijin could acknowledge the fact that there are more than four kinds of steel. Yeah, I mean, for like, there are optimization more than four reasons, I understand what? why. I understand why they don't do that. Uh, it's the, the game already shits itself on the regular naval. But so. it's the fact that they don't acknowledge that there's more than four different types of steel, and instead, no, they're they're keenly aware. Different don't types of steel to usages. They're keenly aware. There's literally a fairly significant reason why you don't want to do that. No, because I the game will just shit itself. The issue Overflow I have is going to be a big problem. Isn't that there's? It's the fact that they just go right. This is made of STS, therefore it is called anti-frag. Regardless right. of the fact that STS and Class B armor are identical metallurgically. Right, that's... like, here's the thing. They can call it whatever they want. The main thing is as long as they get the designation right. But that the properties that, that are derived from that material, so... If it works, it works. This I guess another works. way to describe it, they need to, I guess, fundamentally rethink how they do naval armor, for uh, one, but they don't really need to change the assignments they give. Like, they can totally call it uh, Anti-frag armor, whatever, you know, people will get the message. The issue is that, that it's incredibly inconsistent. Yeah, they just need to improve the, the consistency there. The, the fundamentals of having four armor classes is not really like, a problem, though. Saying like, the entire hull of the ship is made of STS means this entire hull is made out of anti-fragmentation armor is ridiculous. Oh, fuck. Because What's on A, by the way? What's uh, on A? I don't know. Um, German light cruisers. Also, uh, be advised, yeah. two torps coming between us at the moment. They'll probably yeah, be gone by like the time you get there. Four cruisers over at A. Okay, um, we definitely need I'm to dead. deal with that. You're I'm, dead. I'm going to die. I'm heading to Bravo. Why are you charging in alone then? Yes. Um. I don't know. Because he's at the front of the line. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the job of like the Von der in fact. The Von der Tann going in to kill the Yeah. Almost I'm just... like that's his job. I know. I nice see. Deal. Good job. Skill based. Did you yeah. get did you get the random one shot the Eugen trick? Yes. <laughs> um, Eugen? More like KMS Hall uh KMS hood. <laughs> Oof. Um, That's a good one. Uh yeah, I'll see how much that much I can do before the I die. Says Eugen perfectly survived getting nuked. Um Yeah. Just Well, I, I it depends on what you mean by survived. She was intact and floating. I mean I, I would call that, at the very least, a mission kill, if not, like... Mission kill, yeah, just because you she was her she into was a radioactive lunchbox. Well, no, I, even if you ignored the radioactivity, a lot of her systems were just utterly shot. Oh, wait, my bo uh, I'm... She got fuckered by the Hello. explosion. Uh, there's a Kirov in my nose. Oh. Get it. I'm trying, but my guns were pointing backwards because I was shooting at the things that were on A. Not, yeah, this, I can't, not this Gorky that just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> that I is kind about of to torpedo me to death. Realize that I'm sinking way too late, so like... I'm somehow recovering again? Yep, and I just bada bing bada boomed. That, that is a totally recoverable list, bro. Don't worry about it. I am getting buoyancy back somehow, and I am fucking a man over in the meantime. The enemy is winning. Nice. Somehow. Well, I got this a torpedo works. straight in his guts. This nice. thing's actually kind of nice. Yeah, Cleveland's really good. I, re I recommend her. Like, the US 5-7 lineup is really... Like, it, you have surprisingly great cruises in that tree. I, I, I highly recommend everything up until, like, 6-0. And then after 6-0, I, I stop recommending the tree. <laughs> At the moment. Yes, yes. It, it'll, it'll get better. But, like, uh, for I now, I'm everything till killed. Pittsburgh, home run. But once you get past Pittsburgh, play Germany. <laughs> I pretty much be killed like fucking three cruisers. Nice. I'm gonna uh, really see this uh, take or uh, uh, I can't. I'm still trying to get to the battlefield, so. Understandable. In the meantime, I'm coming Atlanta. Well, I'm gonna die to this Kirov, so. Right, I'm guessing we're not gonna take B. Um, I might manage to limp onto it to start decapping it, but this Kirov has... That would has... still be amazing. Like... Oh, I am on it. <laughs> oh, it's contested. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it doesn't count you as being on it until X amount of your ship has managed to make it on. Oh, I see. I, I see. died as yeah. my ba uh, as my bridge 
Okay, I'm taking a PT boat. Yeah, I'm... Okay, uh... Yeah, be safe then. Haha. <laughs> I'm trying to make a run for it. Say again? Was, I'm trying to make a run for, like, cover. Okay. Because I'm currently in the firing line of, like, two BBs. Do you have float planes? No. Okay, then that will be very useful once you get those. I'm in Atlanta. I'm pretty sure that has float planes. No. Atlanta is oh, basically a destroyer. That's unfortunate. Atlanta's a destroyer, but it's big. Because it would be very useful for that ship. Because it's it loves getting close, so having the ability to control a plane in sight would be so nice on that thing. Uh, I don't think they ever fitted a float plane to an Atlanta class. I don't think... I suppose there's not really much deck space for that, I guess. Well, yeah, it's like not <laughs> even that. It's, you stick a catapult on and they roll over. Oh, uh, the Gorky. Oh, he's dead. I didn't even get an assist on that. Unfortunate. Considering Seven. I took him down from max to like 20%. Yeah, you did the bulk of that. That's... Heck. Well, I mean, hopefully we can get B now. That's that's my main hope hopefully, right now. Yeah, because I just had to spend the entire duration between spawning and now turning around to get to B because it spawned me facing north. What's Ikoma for a ship, actually? Hmm? She's a Tsukaba class. She's an armored cruiser. Uh, she's a pre-Dreadnought ship. What's the gun? She's not even in the same sort of ballpark as Dreadnought, so she is literally designed as, like, this is what we need to do to our cruisers. She's a pre-dreadnought armored cruiser. Yeah. So, like, what does her... What kind of guns does she have? 12, 12 inch. 305 millimeter. Four of them. <laughs> She's 5'7", yes. by the way. Two twin <laughs> turrets. Uh, 5 That's... inch upper belt and, and casemate and 7 inch waterline. That over sounds the... pretty nice. That's just over the citadel. The nose belt is 4 inches and the waterline rear belt is also 5 inches. That's still significantly more than a lot of the <laughs> cruiser contemporaries. It's, yeah. That's it's also it's, more she's than... She's a, a little weird to be a 5.7 in my opinion. Um, more I get more that... than the actual battle cruiser Invincible. Yeah. Imagine being... Imagine about <clears throat> battle cruiser. Then. But she's built off the lessons of Tsushima, essentially. Mm. Like, they went, okay, this is how... Like, this is where we did well, this is where we fucked up. I mean, we won... So we have the budget, but... And... the morale. Yes. What is this, uh... Rule the waves. <laughs> mm. Well, public opinion is important. Yes. See, but, uh, <laughs> Understandable. I just like that our entire team is made of squads. And two bots. And two yeah. not squatted people. I'm going to explain uh, to this, uh... This Eugen... Why yeah. HE is king. Well, I'm one thing I don't like about this thing is it's slow as fuck, no AA, and then most importantly, the turret angles suck. Yeah, because it's an armored cruiser from pre-1910. Before the 300 degree field of fire standard, yeah. It's intended to be shooting at things broadside to it. Oh, uh, what are actually some tips for playing Atlanta? Get close throw out as much fucking shit as you can. Set things on fire. Do not hesitate to just burn Point things to death. Point at target. Hold left mouse button. Yeah. And if you ever meet a destroyer, uh, know that you're a war criminal. <laughs> oh, that Eugen's uh, second... His uh, barbed ammo just mm. popped. Oh, Funny. I see you're dealing oh. with Eugen. Yes. I see. You know, Eugen's really like to burn. Thank you very much. Eugen this guy thinks he can... And he's on fire. Yeah, with 12 inch HE we'll do that. Oh, uh, no, I'm... Gonna try to see if I can take out this turret or some shit with Zep. That's not Zep, that's HFET. So you're pulling it in nice first place too. Nice. Well, well uh... with the stock ship. Is yeah. in first place. I'm burning him so that his ability to drop repeaters on the other side has been somewhat diminished. I am also burning him so he can die. Hey, Lamau. God, I love this thing so much. It's such a dumb ship. Just oh, keep... yeah, I, I'm taking out this front turret, by the way. 
Oh, his front turrets were already fuckered. Oh, I'm fuckering them even more. Nice. Accidentally started accelerating. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping. Oh, I dropped artillery on him as he died. <laughs> Understandable. Hey, uh, actually, looking at the angle I'm traveling at. You're fine. Oh. I can. Uh, no, no, he's got torpedoes on the other side. The uh. question's basically, how do I eat them now? Um, uh, one nice thing, one of the front of the tons, uh, committed seppuku. Understandable. Have a nice day. I'm gonna turn in, I think, yeah. Uh, honestly, I would say try and eat it with your coal bunkers. Uh, I'm gonna eat one on the, yeah, on the ammo. Oh well, that, that was, that was a miscalculation on my part, my bad. Then you got killed by the DPRK. So what you say is the war effort hasn't quite gone in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're capturing B. Well, we have two uh, guys on B, so... Well, I can switch into something that's a little funny. Uh, if you if you point me to a battleship, I can I can negotiate surrender terms for them. Uh, there's a Helgoland. Where? Uh, Do your thing. Directly in front of me. As in, right. on the other side of the island at A. Oh, convenient. It's currently going dorps through, like, the place I was sitting, so, like... Um, oh, I see him. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna try a torp run on him. Oh, Sounds we have good. a Sharn now. Hey! Oh, or we've had a Sharn the entire time and I didn't notice because it's classed as a battle cruiser, which the Germans would be very annoyed about. Don't worry about it. I, I mean, really here's the thing. It's it's sort of just a universal seal clever. The, the, there's no classification for it right now except for overpowered. I know, it's just the Germans are very adamant that this 30 knot undergunned. Um. Commerce uh, rating thing that can't stand up to a proper battleship is not a battle cruiser. In game, it it absolutely can stand up to a proper battleship. <laughs> I know. I mean, having an extra inch of armor to reality kind of helps with that. Also, you see this Helgoland? I see a bunch of things. Dr uh, Germ, I'm danger close. Unless you're gonna drop torps, then I've already dropped torps, but there are like three cruisers. So yeah, yeah. My send, send a few fish. Feel free to drop in about. 10 seconds. Because something is going to get hit by those torpedoes, as to whether it's the Kirov the Hipper or the other one. I think the Kirov is going to get down, Mr. President. Uh, oh, so many of them. Yeah, the one, Kirov two, took three. like a big chunk okay. of damage. I'm, I'm one way trip, but let's take a look at how these fall. Oh, I mm. might miss. Yeah, I'm going to miss. That's unfortunate. I just saw That's really unfortunate. Explosion. That's from you. Yeah, oh. that was a torpedo hit on the Kirov. I'm gonna do stupid. I set the Prince on fire, or the Hipper, and his machinery, or his screws are fucked, but... In reality, that had been actually quite a devastating hit, but in-game... In-game, it doesn't matter if your propulsion goes away. <laughs> yeah, it's just a few seconds. Congratulations. Of I'm gonna take the PGO2 and Cat B. Oh wait, no, I got him. I got him. The yeah. fuck? Hence the congratulations. Yeah. Delayed reaction. There was a large explosion. Over. Oh, nice kill. Hipper magazines actually kind of it like unless you do the dead dumb oh, explosion. Uh, that's the fundaton. That's in front of Yes. Me. Hipper. That's big. Mag can I explosions. Can I like physically touch him? As in with my guns. Uh. And well, he's on fire. You can kill a Vondertan with Atlanta, it's just you're going to be sitting there shelling him for 15 minutes as he slowly burns to death. I see. Well... Why not start right now? He's burning in four places already. Hmm. I see. And I just got some mag detonated. Unfortunate. Oh no. Anyway, let's continue burning. Uh, there is an enemy DB3? Of all things to carry as a... Okay. Hmm. That was a strange choice of weapon, of plane, I suppose. Like, he absolutely can. Or maybe he doesn't have anything else, but... Yeah, that's likely. I have an AM1 with me. I would recommend switching that out for a level bomber of any kind. I do not have any kind of level bomber. Okay, then... Wait, not even, like, Catalina? Nope. I'm not what even kidding, but, like, AM1 is not worth it. 
I can imagine it's expensive to repair. Well, it's also a torpedo bomber, therefore it is actively bad. Oh, I kept thinking it was the AU one for some reason. That would be slightly better, but still not a great pick. Uh, compared to just a level bomb. Like, a B-17 is infinitely more useful. I see. The ability to have a bomb site and to not have to suicide dive to target, it turns out to be very useful. Oh, hello. There you are. Found him. Time to continue shelling from the top. Well, I am proceeding to be absolutely useless in Kelm. Go figure. Hey, Lamau. Hmm. Sneaky boy. There are sneaky, a sneaky. lot. We need to do something about this situation. Um, <laughs> we, we really do. We're, we're actually in a bad spot now. Yeah, that... Well, we have fortunately... We're running out of people oh. to shoot at. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, but now, but the thing is, now we're going to start bleeding tickets. Yeah. So we need to actually kill things dead, so to that's speak. That's fine. We just need like I'm we have six dying. kills. Six kills for two hundred and seventy-six yeah, tickets. Fifty, fifty per kill. I'm pretty sure in naval. I swear it's a hundred. It's more. Uh, it's like if it's a hundred, then it's three kills. If it's uh, inside the north, either way, because I know that in tanks it's a hundred, but I'm pretty sure that they were less for. Uh, <laughs> either way, kill. Yes. I'm working on it. All right. Yep. Well, you have the advantage of having rate of fire and actual amounts of ammunition. I'm I have a thousand there. rounds. Oh, yikes. Well, the thunder's burning again. I've gotten him, him down to half crew. Nice. And I'm pretty sure all his, his turrets are disabled. That's perfect. I should probably have brought the Type 11 now I think about it, just so I could have some torpedoes. Hmm. I'm honestly just waiting for them to give us uh, Sam's this thing. Mm, SSM's more like <laughs> that. Doesn't sound I, I, as good. It doesn't, but I desire the ability to pop capital ships with this tiny ass thing. Bogus. Nice kill, beautiful kill, and oh. we win. Hey, I told you you could kill a Vondertan with that, but you killed a Helgoland, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's, the, the Atlantis is a very, very good ship. It, it's a 5.7 inch skies, to put it mildly. Like, it absolutely compares to the Cleveland very rudely. So you just yeah. said it was a 5.7 inch. Oh, god. I was firing at the Helgoland for like...